Hey guys. Uh, the most dangerous time. Not to give any away, anything away with uh, bad faces, but uh, uh, I've been wrestling with trying to work out what it is about this game that annoys me, or frustrates me, or prevents me from wanting to continue to play. And I have yet to come up with a really good reason. The uh, which maybe that's reason enough in of itself. Uh, this game has. You know, it's a chip pull mechanic. If you you can go read about it yourself, I'm not going to waste your time on it. All I'm going to say is that I was really disappointed because I wanted to use this as a means for generating battles for Samurai Ran, the uh, Great Battles of History series, and this uh, did not fulfill that desire, nor did it fulfill the desire to have a uh, Sekigahara esque experience within uh, feudal Japan. There are clearly I think it would be more fun with a couple of players, maybe three, maybe two, maybe two is the right number. As a one player game, you know, I, I started the game, realized I played a few things wrong, restarted, reread the rules, re-summarized the rules, downloaded the summaries, Listen to everyone tell me it's simple and my 12 year old can play it and you're a fucking idiot because you can't play it. Well, I'm a fucking idiot because I can't play this game. I can't play it because I don't care. There's not enough going on and enough uh, action in the game to make it worth the while to go through the fiddling and the mess. The other problem you have is with the variable movement. So, and why is, why is that the case? Well, there's some issues, I think, with uh, movement. If I'm rolling a die to move, and I roll a one three times in a row for three different units, and then pull an end turn, it's the most frustrating experience you can imagine. Three different clans all get to move one piece or one stack, one you know point to point location. So and nothing else can really happen that turn, uh, that activation. So I went through the, the replay, I went through seven turns, two of them ended after one chip pull, one of them ended after two chip pulls, and I think four out of the seven, I rolled a one, that die is now out of this house, I rolled a one for the movement points. So, uh, just frustrating. And so then when you get, you, know, okay, you try and get past all that and go, okay, just get over it, let's re-roll that die and let's just re-roll it and let's let it be something else. Because we want to do something with the freaking game and not just move the uh, move the end turn, uh, the turn uh, designation counter along. So we did that and we had a few moves and things happened and then I had to start looking rules up again and asking questions of myself and wondering how to do things and second guessing the rules. The rules would have to be um, they're not the worst written rules I've ever read. They're certainly not. They're just chatty and annoying. And a succinct rule set would really help, but there are a lot of little things that, that, that you can't capture necessarily until you read the whole paragraph or whatever the case may be. So anyway, look, long story short, um, I, I, got, uh, I, I, I got fed up enough with it that I'm, I'm done. So uh, I'll, that'll be... That'll, Maybe I'll try and play it with somebody at some point in the future and we'll see if we can get something else out of it. I'm going to give it to a buddy of mine and see if he can uh, play it solo and then we'll we'll see what we can make happen. Um, the other thing I wanted to say, so the, so the one thing I am looking for now, uh, other than the block game Sekigahara from GMT, I don't own any other Japanese feudal games and if there's one out there that has a uh, counter set or block set that uh, a, it's a game that is in the era, the Japanese feudal era, and B, it has a, a, an army detailed enough that I can translate it into numbers of units for Ran, Ran or uh, Samurai, then I'd like to know. So if you see something or know something, there's a game out there, let's, let's hear about it please and uh, pop a post on whether it's on the Facebook page at the Big Board or whether it is uh, on the YouTube channel or on the blog, 
that would be fabulous. I really appreciate it because I really want to do something that will generate uh, generate some battles for me that are not just uh, the ones that are in here. The ones that are in here are fine, but I wanted to get something different and a slightly unique uh, so that I could do some writing around it and have some fun. I really started to have some fun with uh, Nobunaga's trials and issues, but uh, with the game turns ending after two chip balls, there really wasn't a whole lot to say. He sat in the Japanese garden. And the turn ended. He sat in the Japanese garden. And the season went by. I'll talk to you later.